call this meeting of the Aurora Public Schools Board of Education to order. Aurora is the most diverse school district and city in the state of Colorado. Given the diversity of this Aurora community, it's important that all children feel safe despite documentation status. Post-election, many families were very worried about their children's safety at school. They didn't know their rights and what the district was doing to support their children. So they said, let's write a resolution. So we worked hard to educate families about what a resolution is and how to write a resolution. A group of parents and I were meeting every week for three, four months, and we helped make the wording, and we gave our thoughts and our opinions and everything we wanted to say into that paper, so. We are now to the open dialogue portion. You have three minutes to speak to the board. Hello, and a very warm good evening to you all. My name is Anjali Bujal. I'm representing the Nepali community and all the students going to our public schools. We went there and I saw all the board members sitting in front of me and I was kind of nervous at first but I felt like no they are here to support me and I have to raise my voice really loud. I have a dream to succeed one day and all of my friends do. How can my friends dreams come true if they have an everyday fear of getting deported? As a teacher in the work community I am committed to making my classroom a positive safe and inclusive environment. We are asking the Aurora School Board to help our families and scholars have confidence that our schools are safe and that our students can focus on academics and not deportation while they are in school. It's scary coming in as a teacher and being able to sit in front of the people who ultimately can tell you if you work there anymore or not. And I think it's important because it's about our kids. And my job here is to keep my kids safe. APS families, students, and community members gathered 818 signatures of support from Aurora residents. We'd also like to present the board with a letter of support for the resolution that 32 local and statewide organizations have signed on to. If you believe we need this resolution to keep APS a safe and inclusive school community, please stand. I've had the privilege of meeting with the RISE families a number of times. I can honestly say I've never felt like I've been in the presence of people that were more American than the refugee and immigrant populations that I sat with. And I think that says it all to me. Director Here. Our public schools is educating our children. Passing the resolution is critical for the well-being of the students because if they feel fear, they won't be able to concentrate and give the attention that they should do to achieve in school. Please vote to approve this resolution so all our families and students can feel safe at school. Thank you. So it happened really fast. Ms. Norman, will you pull the board on moving the resolution to an action item for this evening? So all of a sudden somebody moved to vote on the resolution and then all of a sudden it was voting and all of us looked around like, it's happening, they're voting. Aye. Aye. The resolution has been approved on a 7-0 vote. It was very nerve wracking. We were all kind of sitting like, oh, they're really voting on it tonight? Like. It was very shocking to me, but I appreciate that they saw us as an asset to the community. I thought we would pass, but not this great. I thought we were only going to get like four votes or something, but then we got all of the seven votes. As I went through the entire process, there were definitely points in time where there was a strong impact to me personally. When it was a 7-0 vote, the sense of of relief and happiness. I mean, I felt it as a board member because I know for so many of those parents, that was the only win they've had in a long time and they worked so hard for it. Tonight is all about you and thanking you for all of your incredible hard work and your commitment to students and families, and you won. So that's why we're here tonight. So give yourselves a big round of applause again. As far as we know, it's the first community-led and community-written resolution to be passed in the United States. So families have really made history here in Aurora. Other resolutions have been written by school boards or district officials, and then the communities come on board. This is the first where the community wrote it and the district came on board. Don't want you to think that I did anything or the board. I want you to know you did everything. We had signatures, we had letters, we had your testimony. We had lots of people that we, we all didn't get to see that played a role. And for the people in front of you, you were the powerful ones. What we've done today is because they 
told us that we have power and now we know that we have power. Families are getting together, they're working for a better school district. You know, seeing where we're at now, I, I think about what will happen in three years, what will happen in five years, ten years. Our families are going to transform the education system. I believe everyone should get involved in this because I believe the whole community is my family and the whole nation is my house.